Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yep, I got him. And uh, we are playing Madden 21. Oh, it's the I'm, it's the maddening, dude. <laughs> and, oh, it's the 21 ing That guy looks like he has <laughs> soulless eyes. Have you ever purchased anything out of Forever 21? Um, what about Wet Seal? Uh, like, hold on. Packs. Forever 21. I feel... Oh, you know what I did? You know, I did buy something. Was it Forever 21? It was one of those, like, mm -hmm. like girls' retail stores. They used to have these sunglasses that had yellow lenses in them, but they were, like, just very plain black okay. frame. They weren't girly. Okay. okay. But they had yellow lenses. Yeah. And okay. we used to call them happy glasses because, like, yeah. they make the world all bright and yeah. vibrant-ish. Okay. And I, I remember going there and buying, like, a few pairs because I was like, I got to get more people happy glasses. <laughs> but they were very, like... Just plain black frame. They weren't like hearts or whatever. All right, that's fair enough. I've definitely bought a pair of those out of Claire's boutique. Yeah, and probably like some some earrings too, like some small hoops with like a bead on them. Or yeah, something. I think I I think before I gauged my ears out to like fourteen, I think I did buy like just plain like a plain hoop had, or something. From I had too. no idea you had gauged ears. Yeah, because they look uh well cuz what happens is when I like when I ha I would wear like normal. The normal uh size of a earring is 18 gauge. Okay. And you know, and what would happen to me is the hoops I would buy would constantly break open in my sleep and fall out and stuff. Yeah. So I just gauged them to the size of a standard piercing, which is a 14, which is like a tongue ring or like whatever. So they look they don't look much thicker, but they're a solid piece of steel. They're like stainless steel with a ball on them. Yeah. So they don't fall out ever. If anything, the ball falls off and I have a whole bag of replacement balls. Do I mean, are they still gauged to this day? Yeah. Yeah, they're 14. I've never looked at your earlobes. Yeah, but they look like normal earrings. All right, fair enough. They're just—I mean, no one ever guesses at their gauge because it's a fourteen to an eighteen, which is I've barely enough. Anything. Well, you never had impetus to gauge them to double zero. Uh, no. Why, dude? It looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I just—I'm not awesome. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm just not that awesome. Note to self: I don't want to be awesome. <laughs> I'm okay with. So double being. zeros are like when the guys have like the floppy lobes, right? If they take them out, yeah. yeah. And they will eventually. Like, Flop I think about. double zero is about as big as you can go where they yeah. will go back to somewhat normal. Really? But you can gauge them far. I mean, you can gauge them far out that they will never look like a normal wait, ear. Again. So, wait a minute. You're telling me if I'm if I decide to gauge my ears out and walk around looking like Dumbo, that I could take the gauges out and they'd shrink back down to normal. Um, Bud size, what yeah, yeah. It's either I think it's either zero size? or double zero that will still go back. I mean, you might still have a hole the size of like a pencil eraser, really. But like, like a fingertip. But yeah, they will go back. Yeah, if you take them out. I did not. But know. If, if you gauge them more like the size of an effing baseball, no, dude, they they'll just droop. I did not know. Mm, just a, I think it's, I think it's it might I think it's zero maybe, maybe double zero is too far. But one of them, like yeah, they you'll you'll get pretty much back to normal. No, man. I'm good though, dude. Yeah, like, I'm good. I thought about taking them um, like to like a 12 or like a 10 before, but like, dude, I'm good. Like I had a buddy who had twos in his ear, which are about the size around as of like a uh, like a bic pen, maybe a little thicker. Oh no. And uh. And he had big stainless steel earrings in him, but we lived up north. And in the winter, his ears would literally hurt because the metal would get so cold and it's so yeah. thin. Of, it's so so thin of skin around it. Yeah. It, and he would be like, "Dude, he'd have to wear plastic studs in the winter." And I'm like, "Dude, I'm not changing my earrings because it's winter time." <laughs> I mean, that seems like a, a a minor change, but still, it seems like an inconvenience. I'll give you that. But, yeah, dude, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I was like, I just wanted my, I like my ears pierced, but I don't want, no, nah, dude, I'm good. I, yeah, I just, I never really understood the look that much, man. I've definitely, I dated a girl who had like sixes or something. Like, she was pretty gauged out. Yeah, like and, it was big enough, but it wasn't like ridiculous. Yeah, she told me that it used to stink. Like your earlobes stink when you take the. Uh, yeah, the I've heard out. that too. That like, the, like if you like if you smelled the ring, it would like stink. Yeah. It might be minor. It's just it's like any other earring. Yeah. Like it just smells like like be belly button meat, dude. You ever like stick your finger in your belly button and <laughs> sniff just, that? It's just like. Um, like why does it smell it like reminds, that? In there? It's just like unkempt smell. I, I guess so. Like I wash that sumbi out every day, but you know what? At five o'clock in the afternoon, there's gonna be something in there. It's gonna smell like. Yeah, well, it's like your balls, dude. Like. Why not? 
<laughs> like, you shower in the morning, you go do work all day long, and tell me that your balls aren't going to stink at the end of the what, day. What, what time on the clock do your balls start getting a little... <laughs> I don't know, but I just know, like, sitting there all day doing nothing, you'll get, you'll get some fresh scent going on, dude. Okay, well, I want you, Jonas, homework. Boom. Every every 20 minutes, every I got to I gotta smell my taint, dude? No. Every I'm 20 good. minutes, I want you to put a finger down there and just, like, swipe it. And sniff it, Jonas, and give me a. It'll be ten minutes after. I'm like, God, now I'm all depressed. <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes later, you throw up. I get out of the shower. I'm just like, oh my god, like, that's the worst smell I've ever smelled before. Just gag. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. like. It's just it was just You're like a percolation. Though. There's no ventilation. Very little, dude. And it's all like compressed in like clothes, like three different layers. Yeah, dude. Two and different it's like, layers. In that area has a lot of skin touching skin because it's like where all your different parts come together. Like it's just it just percolates. It's just gonna be warm all the time, <laughs> and it's gonna percolate sweat, and it's gonna have no ventilation. Yeah, dude. And what is sweat? Excretion of bodily. Like fluids, like no, it's like excreting like salt and like impurities and yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the part of your body your body doesn't even want to hang out with. The part of your body your body doesn't even want to. Your body's like all that salt and filth. Ew, gross. Get that out of here. Put it on your taint. You put it. Put it there on the balls. Yeah, just make sure. Give, give that sweat to the balls. Yeah, dude. Do you remember that CB4 movie and they had the song the "Sweat from My Balls"? I, I do, but I don't. Like, I remember Ooh. it being a thing, but I don't remember anything about the thing. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I remember it was a thing, but I don't remember what the thing was about. Yeah, it's like, stuff like that is like, uh, you know, like your second Christmas. Do you remember your second Christmas? I mean, yeah, I know it happened. Tell me a gift I got. I'd be like, yeah, I kind of remember that, but I don't know. I kind of remember. Wow, dude. They, like, they beat me up. Earliest Christmas I can remember. I've probably told this before, but earliest Christmas I remember, I think it was like seven years old, and I remember my mom got me a Superman pajama set. Okay. And I remember it had like the tights and like the shirt, and it had a cape. And oh, wow. Rem- a cape, too? Yeah, and I remember literally getting undressed, putting it on. And then jumping down the stairs like I was Superman. <laughs> and then hurt yourself. <laughs> I did not hurt myself. I was seven. I was invulnerable. When That's you're seven it. years old, nothing can take you down. Yeah, dude, I used to do some crazy stuff. Dude, I would jump all over like stuff. I travel like, yeah, dude. But I do remember jumping down the stairs like I was Superman. That's the earliest Christmas I can remember. Uh, pictures from earliest birthdays, I'm like, wow, I guess I was there for that. You're like, well, I was stupid. <laughs> It's almost like childhood experiences are, like, from another dimension. I remember... Yeah, that's true. I do remember an early birthday. I think it was, like, 1990 or 1991. Um, Because I had a birthday party, and my mom bought me... I was really into collecting... Oh, my God. I got his. I threw. Um... My mom bought me a box of score football. Nope, just a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we played in the box all day, and it was fun, and that's it. Um, and it was a score 91 f- or score 90 football car, a whole box of packs. Hell yeah. Because I was really into cards. And, like, me and my friends sat there and, like, opened them all. And we were like, oh, my God, I got a Joe Montana. Oh, my God. You know, like how kids are stupid. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was kind of fun, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was kind of fun. My mom wouldn't buy magic cards for me because she said they were of the devil, to be honest. Uh, my mom did not buy me magic cards either. Was it because they were of the devil? No. Like, if they wouldn't have been called magic, would she have been okay with it? I don't know. She found, like, a uh, a revised unholy strength, and it was just no Oh, way. that was like, <laughs> once, once she saw it, had unholy on it. It had a pentagram on it, Joe. Remember the picture? It had, like, the guy who was laying back, and he was like, oh, and then it had, like, a pentagram oh, behind him. Oh, yeah. Dude, to plus two, plus one. <laughs> For one black mana? That's a really good card, that dude. Is, that is the uh, revised unholy strength. It is. Yeah, because it was in fourth. It was a nice. Yeah, dude. They, they used like, that for a while. Yeah. So, like, they... they they did like a quiet protest of me playing Magic, but uh, I miss that game. I do too. It's man. just it's too in depth now. It's pay to win now. It's always been pay to win, honestly. Yeah, it's just a lot easier to pay to win than it used to be. We used to have to drive to like Erie to go to a store that had some cards. 
right. you know, and you couldn't buy stuff online. And it was just like you bought the packs, and that was it. Now you can like literally just like go online and buy a deck for like a super. It's all put together with all the best cards because some dude went and got all the cards, put together the perfect deck. Wow! And then you just go buy the deck and go play it in a tournament and win. So you invest like two thousand dollars in a deck, but then wow. you go play in a tournament and you win tons of money because it's like the best deck. Wow, Jonas! You know what you just gave me? You just blew my freaking mind. Why? EA, Wizards of the Coast, their Madden is Magic the Gathering. Right. It's, it's their it's mutt mode. You actually have a physical asset you can sell. It's their mutt mode. Well, you, you can sell Mutt mode, you, it's worthless. At least Madden. You can sell magic. it for fake money, can't you? No. You can't well, sell you, your own cards? Oh, well, I guess you can auction your cards yeah. to get more gold coins to get yeah. more. Oh, so, yeah. But, in, but you can get real money with Magic the Gathering. You can hold a Lord of the Pit in your hand and yeah. be like. Yeah. But I was just thinking because, like, Wizards of the Coast, they kind of, like, started with, like, Dungeons and Dragons. They still make tons of money off of Dungeons oh, and Dragons. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they were just like, you know, let's come out with Mutt Mode and <laughs> make these cards that are, like, you know, card game. We got sacked. Yeah, dude. Don't get sacked, Jonas. It happens. But, no. uh, yeah, dude, uh, they a, are. That's amazing. I just, I, man, it, it just, just hit me. Like, it's just, loot like, boxes, too. I, I just <laughs> wish that there was, box, like... Based. I just, I, every, it just sucks. Why is Baker Mayfield always tired? <laughs> he just didn't sleep last night. What a wuss, dude. Um, it's like, uh, I just wish there was a game that was like, it that like, if you had more money, it didn't mean that you could like win. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it just, it takes away the competitive, the true competitive nature of like the game. Like, it's like, just because like, you're able to go out and spend two thousand dollars on a deck. Or, yeah. I'm sure that's a lot more than what people spend yeah, on a deck. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's like, but you know, just because like your family's like, oh yeah, what do you want? I want this magic deck. It's eight hundred dollars, and you're like, okay. And then there's like another kid who's like, family's poor as f, and they have to buy packs. And maybe he can take fifty bucks and go buy a couple cards to fill his deck in. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. There definitely is an air of that, but I mean, if you just want to play it for fun, then you don't really have to worry about that. I yeah, mean, unless one of your friends is one of the guys who spends all the money on cards, and then he just destroys all of you all the time. Mm, you're saying that you got to have a rich friend, too. Yeah, right. Did you no, have I, a rich friend? Uh, do I? Do you have a rich friend? Do you ever have a rich friend? I have no rich friends, Jones. I can tell you that right now. I do not. I do not know. I mean, I don't. I mean, if they are, I don't know. I never had. I had. I had one friend when I was growing up. His dad was a lawyer. Uh -huh. So so they had money. Their house was super nice and stuff. Mm. Um, but it like it wasn't like I was like, oh, he's the rich friend. You know what I mean? He wasn't the guy who had, whose parents had so much money they threw it around like crazy. You know, like some yeah. kids are like, hey, we're gonna take all of you to Disney. You're like, no, I didn't have that friend. He was like, yeah, we have a house and two cars. Right, exactly. And they had a nice house, and he had all the Nerf guns, and like we would play, uh. you know, stuff like that. Um, but no, it wasn't like yeah. I never got to go on a free trip to Disney just because my my parents' friends were so rich. They're like yeah, just bring wow. just bring a friend with you. We're going to Disney. Take right. a friend. Like we're going on a cruise. Bring a friend so you can have someone to like. Like yeah, you have so much money you can just pay for an extra kid to come for no wow. reason. Wow, and there's kids that that live that lifestyle too. Yeah, and it's like yeah, just bring a friend. And they have a babysitter that comes with them. Right, and it's like just basically so the so the parents can have fun on their own while they're on the trip. Mm -hmm. Like we're on a cruise, you have your friend go play with your friend, and mom and dad are gonna go do mom and dad yeah. things. Wow, that way we don't have to deal with you on our trip. Wow, I've never experienced that, Jonas. Me neither, dude. I've never been on a real cruise. Me neither. I've been uh, to Putin Bay, which I is have, in Ohio. I have not been there. I have been on the Good Time one, two, and three. Oh, dude, in Cleveland? All three good times, Jonas. Dude, I don't know how Sailing around on the burning lake, man. Yeah, dude, out there like, over there's the fires. <laughs> Look out to your left. You'll see the water on fire. Just navigating the flames, Jonas, like the river sticks. <laughs> I'm allowed to make these jokes. If anybody else makes Cleveland jokes, we will ban you. <laughs> no, no Cleveland jokes unless you're from there. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> can't make fun of my weird brother unless it's me, because he's my weird brother. You better not make fun of my weird brother. Yeah, right. That's a joke. We won't ban you, but I will not be happy about it. I will, you will receive a strongly worded message in the chat if you make a Cleveland joke and you're not from Cleveland. 
Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's always good to be from a place because then you have all right to trash talk it. Right? Like, when you stand for the Cleveland football team for as long as I have my entire life, basically, then yeah, yeah, I get to crack on them. Nobody yep. else talk ish, though. You can stop it. That's disrespectful. Yeah, like when, you, when, you, when you're from Ashtabula, you talk all the ish you want on it. But if you don't, you aren't from there, you still want to. <laughs> <laughs> I lived there long enough, dang it. Yeah, dude, yeah. I mean, you give, I mean, yeah, even, I think like five years is long enough to understand. Did I live there for that long? I mean, if you went there from junior high to high school, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, and like a year after. I think I was 20 when I left. So whatever that is. Mm. <laughs> so that's six years. You know what I just noticed? Some of the players don't have a team celebration. And, and I wonder if they're the a-hole players that don't, ha like, don't have good camaraderie. Is that what it is? I don't know. Like, because like in the previous Maddens, every player had, every player had a team celebration. Like just there, like Odell Beckham, who is kind of like a controversial figure. Oh. He did not have a team celebration option. I wonder if that's subliminal or intentional. Oh, you're saying what if they're drawing a, a little a little dub his way, like a little jab, dude? You, they're you like, would oh, never. Yeah, you ain't a team guy. He ain't a Why team do you get player? a team celebration? I would doubt that they would go that deep. I would think that it's more likely that they were just like forgot or it's a bug in the system than them actually throwing a, a sub at, at Odell Beckham. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure but, there's, there's been other guys that didn't have a team option too. I, yeah, dude, I'm just being just no, no. It's a it's a good it's a good idea, Jones. We should look into it. Yeah, it's a good observation. We it's should a look into it. Conspiracy theory. We should look into it. I thought there was like a mechanic where you could like increase their uh, sportsmanship. Dude, I wish you could just pick your celebrations. Like, why don't they put that in this game? Or like, you, it's like emoji, it's like emoji, emojicons or whatever the hell, emotes. You can just do emo. I, yeah, like, like, I like that. Like, you get you. There's a, a whole plethora of celebrations. Yeah. And you, for each of your players, you can go in and change what celebrations they do. So when your football, when your running back scores a touchdown, you can make him do like the home run thing or the eating the soup thing or feed me more, you know, whatever, dude. Like. Instead of it just being like, bah, 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 I do things. You're not even wrong, Jonas, because, like, hot take, Jonas, Madden is basically the Bible. You're just going to keep selling me the same words? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, yeah best selling book out there, but come on, man. You're just going to keep selling me the same words? Yeah. Madden. Yeah. <laughs> Madden the Bible. We oh, love wow, it, though, that dude. That guy's a long orange. Whatever that is running across. What, what, I thought he was carrying a ladder. No, <laughs> no that was just a glitch, dude. What was that? It was just the back of his helmet shooting out pixels. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we have for Jank Jank 9 and 2, 92, 20, 21. <laughs> uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. We've already done that. This dude does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day, every, every day. At uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Central, that's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore at Crazy Town at twitch.tv. Wow, TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We or, or, uh, oh.